have you been there? I've been good. Okay. Yeah. 11.50. No? No. This mic is missing its little thing. Does that matter? No. anything for Halloween then? Okay. All right, I'm here with y'all. 50-50, 100-100. High stakes Friday. Barry with the best hand. All right, Barry Woods denies some equity. So we are playing 50 50 100, so three blinds and also an extra 100 ante from the straddle, which means that there's 300 dead in every pot, which means these players are going to be fighting for a bunch of money here on High Stakes Friday. I am JJ De La Garza. Barry Woods, or Barry Effin Woods is in the house. Seat number one, Barry Woods. High Stakes poker player. Is used to travel a, around and play some heads any, up like, tournaments. Known, like, seat number two, Andy. Actors, uh, seat number play? three, Garrett Adelstein. Known to be one of the best players all around. Seat number four is Lynn. Seat number eight is Jeremy. Levin manages his, uh, manages music producers and writers. Seat number nine, everyone's favorite uncle, Uncle Abe. Seat number six is John Sin. Two hundred? It's only a hundred. Good call. Okay, hundred. <coughs> well, started smoking again, I believe. Yeah. You didn't give me good news today, so. Uh, I'm sorry. Five players. Garrett with the full house, with Barry Woods with the bigger full house. Garrett's going to bet a quarter pot. Feels like he has the best hand and he can get some thin value. Why are you downsizing, Garrett? Uncle Abe says, why are you downsizing? <laughs> and I'll give you guys some shout outs after this hand. I see the chat got it fired up. <laughs> you have the floor, man. Yeah, that's what I heard. Great question. <laughs> Not a river that Barry Woods wants to see because if Garrett had some bluffs like Ace 3 and Ace 5, he gets through the bigger full house. Barry Woods ends up checking it back and $3,000 to Barry Woods with the bigger full house. So once again, we are playing 50 50 100, a three blind game with a yeah, big blind sure anti or a straddle a anti of 100. He wasn't going to fold. He had the nuts on the turn to say 500. High stakes Friday here at the Bicycle Casino right in there. Bell Gardens, Four California. Wow. I've got a balanced strategy in my poker game right. and in my commentary game. So what does that mean? For y'all, that means that if these guys are doing a bunch of talking, I'm going to be quiet. And if these guys are quiet, then I'm going to be breaking down a lot of poker hands. with an ace on the flop and a tricky check back. I absolutely love this. And 
and his check back has got Lin to probe the turn. And the beautiful thing with hands that Barry just did this with is he can basically call turn and river blind here. Seven is pretty neutral because Barry would check back sevens and Lin should have some sevens from her straddle. 2200 in the pot and looks like Barry's going to go for some thin value trying to get called by a jack. Make his hand look like a missed flush draw, but Lin just with King High is probably just going to throw in the towel unless she gets a little crazy. She gives it up. Aaron Foster is also uh, very famously an atheist. And is he? Yeah, in a culture that's very Christian. Yeah, I liked him a lot. Like he's a sick he's running a, back. He was a very interesting and outspoken guy. Yeah, yeah. I remember him being a vegan, oh, yeah. losing Titans. a lot of weight. Uh, Texans, Texans, Texans. Yeah, yeah. Then you got injured. Yeah. Five hundred. From it was really C1. good for a few years, though. He was like a multi-pro boy. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's go. So one of the first me? major athletes no, to be no. like an outspoken advocate. Athlete. Really? No, no. It's me, I win. First one. Check two, Gary. It's 115. Bet. Eight hundo. Barry with a half. Gold. Size C bet. Does the magic, I assume. Put it out. Okay. I don't. I don't think he ever what, what you finished it either. <laughs> he didn't uh, have to. Turn was be a okay. He uh, the guy bought out. Rory bought oh. out. Um. <laughs> Call. Gary, you yeah, say you want to smoke with me? No. Remember, we don't <laughs> smoke anymore. You and oh, me both I, for our health. I started quit, smoking so I today. You start. I'll join you. Is it Son of a gun. The doctor told me something Option. stupid. Option, Abe? Abe, I still think I'm not going to give you your cigarette gift. No, no. I think for moral reasons, I feel no. better about not giving it to you now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to encourage you to fucking stop smoking again. Check. Check, check. check. Limpop preflop. We don't see too many of these. Barry Woods betting the size of the pot. Carrot's going to give it up. Too many people behind him and too big of a bet. I'll go with the gut shot. Barry gets one customer. Heads up. Goy turns the best hand, attention. now a pair so and a gut shot. Barry Woods with no <laughs> spade yeah. in his hand. I'm hoping that if Just I play check this with one dealer, back. I'll get better cards. Yeah. Yeah. You might. I might, yeah. Uncle Abe bets $1,000, <laughs> it looks like. Not so much. You did it. You know what I'm saying, Which one of these will I have to drink now? Let's see. <laughs> Who prepares these shakes? Okay, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Barry is it's gonna tough. go for like, a raise. It looks like here. For you already, like I don't know. I mean, I, I twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred to go, and Barry has the blockers or the removal cards to ten jack to the nut straight. I like the idea of like not having to make a decision about like what you're eating. You have a high if Uncle Abe can sniff this one out, this would be such a sick call. Yeah, I'm gonna get to next time. Can I get service? Thank you. You already got uh, me one time. Mm -hmm. That's who you told me was your coach. Really? Because you just brought his name. Yeah. Like on stream, you said that. Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe 300. I don't know. I love Taylor, though. Good dude. <laughs> Make it 1,500. Barry with the open and Garrett with the three bet has Barry dominated and 
This is what happens when you have Garrett Adelstein to your left in a game. He's going to be three betting you a ton with value and it's good thing I did not call with off suit aces. Queen comes, I'm in trouble. Oh, you're lovely. Probably the large. Yeah, even. Okay, that's fine. Gara with Sounds another right, quarter honestly. pot bet size, just about. Thank you. Actually, that one's closer to a third. Gara okay, with the great, 10 of thanks. clubs, um, but yeah, this so turn this should cool go check, check a bunch. Oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate Garrett it. improves with some equity, and yeah, honestly, Barry improves with a gut shot right. equity, and um, both pairs with an ace. I'll keep one now that you've brought it. I'll keep them all, actually, now that they're here. Five hundred to go. That card definitely does favor Barry's range. He's definitely gonna have more flush draws that call the three bet in position. What is that? Oh. Garrett's gonna continue, and I think I could be wrong, but Barry's probably betting there, so he doesn't have to call a river bet. So somewhat of a blocker bet and some thin value. Oh yeah, because this river is gonna go chop chop as long as no one folds. Has like a little bit of caffeine. Ten thousand two hundred fifty in the pot. Classic battle, Barry Woods and Garrett Alstein. I used to not like it. I used to not like the coconut milk for some reason. Oh, and Barry's going for it. 33. 3,300. Barry's putting out the milky bet. Oh, such a payoff. Fucking wizard. Minus the wizard. I'll do it again. What can I do? Ten seconds. Increments of that nature, I just, just give it away. Let's go look. Yeah, I like looking. I'll call him. He calls you. Ace, Jack. Ace. Garrett does make the call, getting a good price, and they're going to split this one up. What up, Intramorph? I see you, brother, in the YouTube chat. What's going on, Jeremy Stark? Couldn't get that Eric Peterson. Out of you, huh? All right. Let's Cards, please. Anything over 400 big ones. Cards, Jeremy. Definitely 400. 400, yeah. Check. Usually coincides with the whining. Check to you. What do you got there? Is that a Fitbit? No. This is a Fitbit, actually, yeah. Check. Jeremy with the unknown hand. Ace King seems pretty good still on this board. Five hundred. Five hundred. Small enough bet to get Barry Woods to call here. Call. Got to figure this one out the hard way with the unknown hand. Twenty-three hundred in the pot and a king on the river for Barry Woods. Bet of 700, and Jeremy is in the big blind. He could have a four, I think, with the small sizing. He he wouldn't really have a four. I think he has some sort of ten. Those are some good cards. Big slick, big slick. Wow, what are you guys doing? And both wow. players have oh, ace king. Oh, yeah, yeah. Slow roll. I was like, wow. <laughs> so just like Split no one decides that it's a good idea to raise me pre flop, maybe. Five hundred. That was being very deceptive. But so was Barry. Every time I have a three bed pre flop, I get a call. If I miss oh, my hand. Nice hand, Barry. I was like, there's well, no way I'm losing this hand. <laughs> <laughs> no. If I would have raised you, would you uh, have like yeah. curled up in the fetal position and uh, called that? I wouldn't have liked it, but I probably would have made a crying call. But I had no, in no way I'd ever put you on that hand. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Ryan's yeah. okay. Oh, 300. Ryan got a hand. Right, right. This is all the haircuts. You should do the bet with Ryan, Andy. Ooh, that's good. 
the, the line gets shorter and shorter. You get skinnier and buffer every day. A little more fratty every day. One day I'll be you. That was good. That was good. Yeah, you look I like that. You like yourself so much. Any players. You can buff. I don't know how I don't. Brian, do you want to do a last one for a haircut back? Oh, they might like who has hair back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that would be like a life bet. Like, 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 I'll take that hair. bet against anyone <laughs> who will have <laughs> hair alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'll take. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, women. Call me in thirty years. Yeah, right. You know, I made a ten-year Bitcoin bet with somebody here. No, Ryan, you should do the bet with Andy. It's who who will grow their hair the longest without cutting. I don't. I don't Uncle Abe who will grow their hair the longest without cutting. I don't Uncle Abe bets the best hand here. He's got a straight draw along with his middle pair. Check. Barry with the flow with two overs and some good back doors. I can imagine you with long hair. Like to the shoulders? No, 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 not like that. But it was like... Grows up, No, no, my hair doesn't... No, I had like... Like a surfer. Like shaggy sort of. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I didn't want to see the pictures. It was embarrassing. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was trying to... I just want to see Barry Woods with a flow. It was just like... It was really bad. And a steal attempt. It was pretty long. One of my closest friends his whole life, he buzzed his hair, and then one day when he was out, uh, he was working for... And Barry Woods yeah, gets it through. Wait, the guy that I knew? Uh, his name's Chris. I don't know. Yeah, the guy that, the guy that worked at the here. Yeah, he's an editor. Yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had his hair. I feel like those are all things you might feel. able to get It's definitely by. sensory overload, though. Yeah. Like, I went to both of them both days pretty sober, and like, oh, yeah. I don't know if that was the move. Yeah. Check. Yeah. You feel like three days usually. Check. You can go one day. You definitely can. I usually only go one day. Especially since there's a lot that are yeah. so close to LA. Because they're like back to back, but you have to be a trooper to go to all the days. Limp pot and everybody with dust here. Yeah. The alternative is just like if you don't get fucked up, it doesn't feel nearly as bad. Barry wants um, it the most. Because then your body isn't like yeah. covering the next day. But it's also not job nearly done. as fun. Barry's timing has been impeccable today so far. I mean, tornadoes and ice oh, yeah, storms and just like, like it was rough. Yeah. Same. It was Roger Rabbit last year. Nothing. No, just. I folds. I always dress up. Yeah. You know, I don't have too much, but I'm gonna double up on this with the bucket. I actually had a real hand. 
the pair good One right pound. now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't 16, have to call. 16, you are the end. Yeah, yeah. And one time we said That's going to win, I think. Nice hand, sir. Nice hand, Abe. It is. That's twice. Y'all, I'm back. Hopefully, I didn't miss too much. I'll take a quick break, real quick, and I come back to Pocket Jacks. Alex W., and you're right in the chat. Johnson did miss his flight. He texts us that he was partying a little too hard last night on Halloween. Andy and Barry are both going to try to set mine. Interesting spot here. Barry with a set. And Garrett's going to see bet three ways with no spade in hand. Probably more for protection here. He doesn't want a spade to roll off. Players shouldn't have ace king in their <coughs> range because they would have four bet at pre flop. Just a flat by Barry. Ninety six fifty in the pot. Garrett gives up the lead and checks the turn. Three thousand small enough to entice Garrett. Last time Barry did this sneaky small bet, he tried to get Garrett off a chop. Fourth spade on the river, which is actually a four. Check. 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 <laughs> Barry's not too happy, but he's going to win the pot. Make sure you guys check out live at the bike.com. Here are the cumulative winnings. Barry up 10,000 so far. Lynn up 6,000. Andy up 16.25. And Garrett and Uncle Abe and Jeremy are on the losing end so far. He was uh, doing a uh, show in Las Vegas at the Thunderbird Hotel. And the reason I got kicked out is the teacher thought I flipped him off. I was in detention and because I had already been kicked out of a class. And one of the guys said something to me he was sitting at the back of the teacher room, so I flipped him off and he like ducked down and the teacher thought I was flipping him off. That's so funny. So the only way to go from detention is to kick me out. Service? So much. Jesus. 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 Facts. Facts. You just download it on your iPad or it was it was in the cloud. I could have taken any time I wanted to. Three fifty more. And <laughs> put up with the bullshit no more. Andy isolating Barry. And Andy flops the joint. Fifty third pot sizing from Andy. Check again. Check. Oh man, and Barry gets there with the straight. Eighteen hundred. And Andy bets the size of the pot. Andy is the only one. That can have ace king, aces, kings, tens, ace, 
I mean, the big full houses. Because he's the Razor preflop. 5,400 in the pot. And the dust slash brick card on the river. Oh my gosh. Five large. And Barry Woods <laughs> leads 5,000 to go. Five large. <laughs> 50 hundos. <laughs> no choke here. Sorry. No, you nailed it. That one was fucking legit. Five large is amazing. Amazing if you did that in like a huge game. You're like 150 large. So are you saying this is how much for you? Or seventeen thousand five hundred. And the table talk is up, but this is a very big cooler in hand. Like this is a very casual game. Are you basically putting me all in? Is that what you're doing, motherfucker? <laughs> Such a sick hand. But by Barry betting the pot on this river, he can probably successfully get away from this hand. And he does have aces, and he has kings, and he has ace 10, king 10. It's hard to think Andy would do this with just an, an ace or just a 10. Barry does have a diamond in his hand. So if Andy was double barreling with hands that turned a flush draw, like Jack Nine of Diamonds, Jack Eight of Diamonds, this type of diamond hands that had a straight draw, flush draw, Barry Woods does have the removal card. So he removes some of Andy's bluffs from his range. So it's a pretty important card. makes the hero fold. I think he allowed himself once he bets that 5,000 to fold to a big river bet or a big river raise because Barry Woods led the river for a pot sized bet. What do you think I, have? Uh, I know exactly what you have. Clean exactly 10. No, what he had is pocket 10. He just did not saw the whole thing up there. I'm gonna give you one guess, Barry. It's a straight, and that's it. Well, if you thought I had a straight, it was a, well, I don't know what. And that's Barry Woods, ladies and gentlemen. What a sick fold. <laughs> and those of you in the chat that say easy fold, most of you in the chat have said nice fold and wow, what a sick fold. But the couple of you, too, in the chat that said easy fold, that's because you can see the whole card's face up. If we put the whole cards face down the whole show, and and we saw at the river that Barry Woods has Queen Jack, we couldn't see Andy's cards. We're probably all gonna say call. So, well done by Barry. Six 
600. Make it 2200. And what another sick hand that Barry Woods is in. I think from a live standpoint, once a player makes a big fold, the very next hand they are not going to make a big fold. So even if this river is the worst river of a jack, I don't think Barry Woods is folding his two pair. Just some from some live instinct stuff that I've seen. And knowing when I play, I don't like to make another big fold in a row. It's tough. So let's see how Garrett dissects this river bet. We've seen Garrett adjust his sizing today to smaller bets. Usually he's throwing haymakers at the river, and here comes a haymaker. Bet $10,000. $10, and let's see if what I just said qualifies here. I just said... Players are unwilling to make a big fold. And snap call. Chop it up. <laughs> what a weird hand. <laughs> once, uh, once you looked at my hand, I thought it was dead. Actually, I'm like, should be happy. Well, I was trying to think if it was a bigger I did too. I thought he was like, I'm, I don't know. I'm yeah, so I have to. <laughs> no. I, I was certain I couldn't win once Jeez, you saw my card. Yeah. <laughs> You're very lucky. You got a bigger two. Good call, Barry. It's tough. You want to hit. You take big line? Jack two. Just in time? Yeah. The classic King long. Deuce versus King Deuce. Was it was a chop. Yeah. Huh. Fascinating. So could you was three? actually kind of fascinating. <laughs> was kind of fascinating, actually. <laughs> 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 Had to have been able to be this straight. No trolling. It was actually a bottom hand. A lot of strategic. Mm -hmm. uh, right, this is clutching. Uh, Garrett and Barry both had two pair with King Deuce. 300. Who do you think played it better? Two had second. They were well, equally sure. excellent. <laughs> Pot committed, right? Uh, who are some of the people who have the tone bringing? Thank you, Gabe. Show time for Abe. And another all in from Uncle Abe. You have a busted catch, Abe? <laughs> go time. It's, <laughs> it's go time. 50 large, go time. Poker anymore. The only thing funny about the magic Sega is if Abe said it. <laughs> if it folds the hand and then he let it tick down for 25 seconds. <laughs> it's go time. <laughs> and then slowly, <laughs> as he's moving his chips in the pocket. They haven't gotten Yeah, uh, it's go time. Shit. I have a pocket pair. You want to call, call. Uh, well, <laughs> that's helpful. Uh, now I'm a lot less likely to call. 34.25. Make some money right in there, too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm still not. Like how Lynn is always semi committed. I, I see what they are. Oh, oh, I did 10, too. My pair was half of that. That's exciting. That's so exciting. Oh, fuck this shit. I wasn't in the hand. And I, like, I like how Lynn looked yeah, at the hand four. We'll do the next hand, but yeah. We no, no, it's not. I mean, how much can I make Lynn, I like how you looked at the 400 and you were like, I, I think I'm not committed here for 3,400. This is not a game. <laughs> Nobody calls me when I have anything. I had a friend in high school, and uh, the associate principal, I think her name was, she was not a nice person. No one liked her. She was in charge of discipline. And my friend, as he walked, he like, Snuck in silly string because they searched you head to toe, but he somehow, like, you know, put it really? in the box. Okay. Whatever. Here they are. It's a pair of sevens in case you can't see it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, a black uh, one and a red one. <laughs> Can I raise them? And another red one. Uh, Did I ever say fold? <laughs> <laughs> and so he walks right up to the associate principal as he's walking and they say his name, and he just, like, 
just gives her like a facial of silly string. Just all well, that's, up in that's her. That's a sure skin. way to get for like, expelled or for like a good suspension? 15 seconds. But he was walking, so like. Yeah, and no, so the announcer really? stops and everyone's just in disbelief. <laughs> Uh, and then, like, you know, someone from security takes him out, and he, to this day, it's like his claim that maybe he never got his high school diploma as a result. I mean, that's a good way not to get it, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's like a, that's I mean, like, that's, yeah. that's pretty, a classic, that's pretty like. pretty incredible story, yeah. I'm, I'm just... Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. So we got an interesting hand brewing here. Chips. We got a three bet squeeze from Gara with ace king. Lynn with the mystery hand, but she does call the three bet. And Barry Woods with king queen. And he's stuck in the middle here. Ten seconds. And let's see if we can pinpoint Lynn's hand. Lynn raised from earlier position, but it is kind of late since it is short handed. Okay, I was going to say some middling pairs. Maybe sevens through uh, uh, jacks. And uh, yeah. There's an eight on the flop. I think there's 28 there, right? Check. Or 48 total. Check. I mean, Garrett does check this one, and this goes check, check. Trickly played by Lynn. $4,050 in the pot. Lynn has 13000 back, so she's going to want to start building this pot. 2400 And when Lynn Cold calls that three bet, her hand looks a lot like ace jack suited, ace queen, ace king, and some pocket pairs. Oh, and Garrett's going to make the discipline down, which is ace high. Gangster open, 6-5. Gonna get it through. Neil Yang, Patrick Doyle, Patrick Curran is in the mix. Our graphics engineer, bootleg 14, cash 674, Luna 86. What's up, y'all? Deep ball 916. What's up, Mazzy? Good foul of Vapor. Patrick Doyle. Check. Garrett with the Israeli Ron hat. Making Israeli Ron proud. I bet you Israeli Ron's going to pop up in the chat right now. Usually Ron will pop up when the hand wins, though. Barry with top pair. I assume check. this turn's going to go. Check, check. Very little showdown value for Garrett. What does Barry Woods do with the king? I think that ace does favor Garrett's range. Garrett's going to be C betting some ace highs and gets to the river now and river and ace. King. And it does go check, check, and Barry Woods wins with the king. So one goal might be okay. I'm going to not drink soda for one week. Everything else stays the same. So it's like taking away small things. Like yeah. I won't eat chips for a week. But, I won't eat but the key food. isn't like during that week, you go, I hate myself. I'm, you know, filling the blank with all these bad things. 
in fact, you're proud of yourself. You're proud yeah. of yourself for doing it the right way. And like, once you execute this pretty small goal, then you feel great about it. And that like, positive moment is right. further and further. Barry and opens sort of and he flats pocket eights. Right. Yeah. Barry with the biggest said, spade in hand, I three spades on, is like on board. A lifestyle change and not like a fad diet. It's never that. Like, mm -hmm. but it's so it turns six. a nine. Yeah. Which Barry's going to continue. And Andy's like, snap good. makes a good fold. Well, that's definitely true. Andy playing very so disciplined like today. Like, when you see results faster, like if I'm Eight. stepping on a scale every day, which I know you're not even supposed to do either, like in the day, but like. On Quave going for it with the bet of 800. It's yeah. great psychologically, it's very challenging physiologically. Yeah. You're gonna Looks like Barry Woods is going to put out a small yeah. raise. And, you're gonna plateau yeah. and, you're gonna, all yeah. all and he goes all in. He puts Uncle Abe all in for a small raise because Uncle Abe only has 1425 back. I'll, I'll talk to you about it more. I appreciate your I think Uncle Abe experience. can save his last 1425 and wait for a better spot for sure. Loses to like Queen of 10, a bunch of spades, straights. Physical stuff. You so it's like attack it straight one diet, yeah. which to me has like never been an easy thing. And for some people, it's super easy. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. I think it's pretty common. Yeah. Exercise for me is really fun. Eating healthy is never yeah. fun. Like, dude, if you could tell me I could play basketball every day and tennis and stuff, like, I would yeah. be doing that and losing weight. Were you talking about why he says the word fuck so much? I don't think so. Everyone wants to know why I swear <laughs> so much. This is my fucking life. I've had a fucked up life, so I say fuck a lot. Yeah, I've had a fucked up life. And as you can tell, this is a good game. We're going five ways to the flop. Dominating this board with a pair and a flush draw is going to bet. $2 donation as well. So I didn't want to give you a shout out. In the middle of the hand, what's up, Engineer Adro? What's up? Who else do I see out there? It's usually here on Fridays. Who am I going to give a shout out to? I see Hyper Zenoy Team. What's up? Mad Benjamin. What's up, Benjamin? Waska Lee Wabbit, Even Ace, PS3 Shakes, Edward Kim, Double A. What's up? Derek Bates, Alexander Roberts, Matthew Widgets, what's up, Matt? I see you. Matt plays a lot here in LA on the bicycle. And Jeremy's got a decision. I'll give some more shout outs after this hand, though. Jeremy's got a decision here with the Ace Queen. Sitting around a 1,200 big blinds versus an aggressive Barry Woods. Pure continue time. Oh, and Jeremy gives it up. 32 Rojo, what up? So, Barry Woods gets the best hand to fold and the worst hand to call. Barry Woods living his best life out here. Shout out to Dan Wu. John Ponce. David Stanley. Sean Guy. They're going to run this one one time. And Barry Woods' is ace deuce holds. underground poker. <laughs> like I would certainly rather live in New York City than uh, like a slow 1500, yeah. 1500. Like a city less than half a million Yeah. Three bet by Garrett. We know that Barry likes to see a flop and he's going to continue here in position. The Suda connector seems very fit. I don't know why. 
like people are very been very mean to me there. Uh, how they are. <laughs> but you're so nice. Right, where are you from? Tonight? Check. Kara checks this one over. Barry does have really good backdoor equity here. Does check it back. You go back there a lot. Turn changing is nothing. Pairs the board. Here comes Barry Woods, 2,600 to go. When Barry bets this big. He's saying he has a three, an over pair, or some big flush draws. Garrett does have the ace of diamonds, so he does remove some of Barry's flush draws. And Garrett's going to get sticky with it. 84. 50 in the pot. Barry Woods gets there with a 10 on the river. We've seen Barry go pretty small for some thin value. Let's see if he bets another 3K bet and he does check it back. Got him on the river. Derek Bates, 08 Dobbins. I see y'all. 300. Flops Garrett and Barry's got a pair and a flush draw. Check. Make that a backdoor flush draw for Barry Woods. Now flush draw. Garrett with two overs and a gut shot. 1300. 1300, and I think Garrett's hand is the type of hand that if spades do come in. Garrett's going to be barreling pretty heavy. He's going to rep the flush since he does have a king of spades in his hand. Check. 42. 50 in the pot. Garrett with just king high. He also can rep clubs. He does have the queen of clubs in his hand. So he was probably planning on Repping both the flush draws. Ten years ago, probably, yeah. And here he goes. Ten years ago, yeah. Another haymaker throwing Barry Woods' Six way. Barry Woods does make the hero call. Well done by Barry Woods. Shipping over a $16,000 pot with Jack 5 Motown. What's up, Jason? Connery donated a dollar. Yep, you're $999 away from the $1,000 you said you have donated by now. But what's up, Jeremy Belcher? What's up, Marion Aguilar from Chicago? What's up, John Rice? He donated $2. And shout out to. Marcy for watching live at the bike with me. Shout out to oh, you, Marcy. Right. Fish burrito, I'll what's up? You for, I'll give you like a hundred bucks. Okay. I'll, I'll give you a hundred. said, can I, my boy Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein get a shout out? Yep, he just did. What's up, Jeff? Good call by Barry Woods once again. <laughs> 